y'all welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a laundry room declutter and organize my laundry room is so full of stuff a lot of this stuff I'm going to take and put out in the shop a lot of stuff I'm going to get rid of I just want to get this organized better than it is so I hope that y'all will stick around and hopefully that this video will give y'all some motivation to get some things done in your house hey y'all Today, before we get started on the decluttering and organizing in the laundry room, I wanted to share with y'all a product that I was sent by the company Teamy. It is a Teamy detox mask. It is made from matcha, if I'm saying that right, lemongrass, and clay. It's in a four ounce container. They also sent me this really cool little brush. It has like a marble design. It came in this box here that you can use to put on the mask. And I have used masks in the past. One thing I have always noticed with every mask I have used, whether it's a clay mask, whether it's one of those that you have to put on, you know, that's like the, what are they called? Sheet mask, yeah. Every time I take them off, my skin feels so dry. Even when I wash my face, I use Clinique products, and this is a lotion. I have been using this since I was a teenager. This is the only lotion I use on my face. And um, usually, even when I use a Clinique face wash, I always have to put the lotion on afterwards because my skin always feels dry. And I have very dry skin. My nose is the only part that kind of gets oily, but the rest of my skin just feels really dry. And one thing I have noticed with using this mask is my skin is not dry. When I take this mask off, it, my skin feels so soft. Even my daughter, my 11 year old daughter, wanted to try it with me the first time and she has tried mask and it makes her skin kind of burn because her skin is sensitive and she's just a little girl. And this mask did not do that. She really liked it and she's wanting to use it again. So I just wanted to hop on here before we started the video and let you know that I've teamed up with Timmy and I will have some coupon codes down in the description box below where you can save 15% or 20% off of a purchase. So if you're interested in trying out the Teamy mask, I would encourage you to go and click on the link and use my coupon code below. So now let's get to what y'all came to look at, the decluttering and organizing in my laundry room. Okay, first I'm gonna start here on the top of our freezer. I have all these extra blankets that I have, they're in those little containers like you, um, get the blankets in or the comforters in. I keep those and that's what I had those in. I don't really want to get rid of them just yet, just in case we need them. So I'm taking them out right now and I'm going to put them in this big bin that was in our shop. So I'm going to try to get as many of these down in there and out of the, sh out of the <laughs> laundry room. Okay, y'all, I'm about to be lifting up a, <laughs> this box right here was so heavy. My husband used to do gun reloading when we lived in Oklahoma, but now that we've moved back to Texas, he doesn't do it anymore because there he had a garage and everything to do it and the humidity wasn't as bad. Um, here, you can't just store it outside in our shop, so we have to keep it in the house. And so it was in the top of our closet so now I decided to put those things on top of this freezer now that I moved all the blankets. Okay, y'all, this box right here, it was so funny. There were all kind of manuals for washers, dryers, for appliances we don't even have anymore. <laughs> So I moved over here. Uh, we have several shelves in here because we just don't have a lot of storage. So I'm moving things around. We bought this thing right here. It's uh, one of those buffets to keep food warm. And so I was moving it onto the top of the refrigerator. So it was mainly a lot of moving around and reorganizing, trying to get things to fit in different areas so that I can open up spaces um, to do other things. 
I still have a lot of stuff in there that I need to get out. Like for instance, this box right here that I'm messing with has all kind of things for our cattle. <laughs> and we keep it in there because my husband just doesn't want, out, want it out in the shop. And there is some medicine that is up there. And we actually have some medicine even in our refrigerator. If you've seen my clean with, um, where I cleaned out my refrigerator a while back, I show you that stuff. Still you're the one who brings out the best of me We're a little messed up, baby Kind of up and down And we keep going till we hit the ground But then we... Okay, now I'm going to start on these cabinets over here And y'all, there was so much junk up there I was finding all kind of things And realizing like, why am I keeping all this stuff? Um... This is kind of funny, like this is like little security camera things that we used to have when we lived in Oklahoma because a lot of times we would travel back to Texas and that way we could like, it would notify us, you know, of movements and everything. So I am going through here, finding tons of light bulbs, finding old recipes that I didn't even know that recipe box was in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going, cleaning this, reorganizing this. We can fight all day and make love in Figure it out, don't we? This cabinet down here we don't really ever use so I stick a lot of stuff in there that I don't need very often but I don't want to get rid of like I have tons of containers that I may never use I do end up taking some out and using and more light bulbs the reason we have all these light bulbs is because my husband bought them on Black Friday but I don't like them because they're the warm color and I'm trying to change all of my bulbs to daylight because it helps with um, filming so I'm just, I guess I keep getting tickled over this that I'm finding so many bulbs, light bulbs. Yep, I left that sneeze in there. Well, two sneezes. I, like, I hope that I can bring a little laughter when y'all are watching my videos. I like to joke around and I'll make fun of myself even. So, um, I tend to do that. Y'all may notice. And I think that's fun, you know. Laughter's the best medicine. And I really hope that y'all are enjoying my videos. And oh, y'all, that, <laughs> there you go, another laughter for you. That candle stank. It stank. Hey, y'all, I'd like to also invite y'all to follow me over on Instagram at Kim's underscore farmhouse life. I share stories over there almost daily, so if you would like to see a little more of my life and my kids and get a little laughter, <laughs> go check me out over there. I would love for y'all to join me. But I know you see me too, everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh, I don't know what it is about you. Okay, this other cabinet over here, you'll notice the door is not all the way open because I have a, bu a bucket over there with a little spout coming out of it. Um, we like to buy our laundry soap when we're able to from a flea market and you get these big buckets full. And so anyways, that's what's in the way. But now I'm just refilling this um, grease lightning bottle. But anyways, that's why you can't see in there too good. Later, I will move that out of the way so y'all can see. But mainly what I have up here is like laundry products and things. And so. Yes, I'm talking to myself right now while I fight with that lit lizard <laughs> to get it back in the box. Just say the word and we can leave this place. Oh, I'm done. Um, yes, there's still stuff stacked up here, but now it's actually <laughs> not a bunch of blankets that we never used. So I have that thing there, Courtney's Easy Bake Oven, my husband's gun reloading stuff. That's some blankets that we do sometimes use. And then this is like just junk. This is stuff for our cows. I don't know. I'm going to ask the kids about the Play-Doh. That's got Play-Doh. 
just kind of some random stuff. And then this is actually all the stuff for my rainbow vacuum, which it normally goes right here in this spot, but I have it in the living room. And I have an extra crock pot and a few pictures I need to get rid of and randomness. Over here, I have where we keep our toilet paper and paper towels. I keep a couple rolls in the bathroom, but I always buy a big package. So, uh, dog treats, rat poison, <laughs> and this is extra paint for around the house. And this is how I keep my laundry. We have towels. These are like jeans. These are colors. And up here is stuff that either needs to be like delicates, um, things like that. Let me scoot this over now. And extra hangers, dog food, extra dog food, of course the freezer. This is how I keep my husband's work clothes separate. I need to get a better thing. And that bat bucket is actually empty. Um, clean the washer and the dryer off. I clean behind here. That's where we keep like white stuff. Um, there was a big bucket of laundry soap up there, but it was empty. And then up here, man, I really made, I have room to add extra stuff now. And the same way over here, this was packed, but now I actually have room. I can put other things. I'm going to put probably some cleaning stuff that I don't use very often. I might put in there. I don't know yet. And there's some of these jackets I need to take down that don't fit the kids. Um, air conditioned, uh, what do you call them? Vent things. That's just some random stuff. Um, this has like swimming stuff. There's one bag full of these little drawstring bags. Um, that's where I keep all of our receipts and things for taxes, which I need to organize. But I just have it here all year long. I just come along and I, every time we have a receipt we need to keep, I just put it in there. And I don't really have anything going on in here, but. I know it's a small space. I have some stuff here I need to put somewhere else. Um, yeah, so I like it better. So thank y'all for watching.